welcome back to my channel um, I, uh, I've got the jelly plate out today I'm going to um, have a go at one of my lessons as you know I'm on the doing the Wonderlust um, course this year and um, I haven't done all of them the last I haven't been that enamored with the, with some of the things um, this one is by the lovely Kate Crane and I love Kate so um, definitely was going to try this one and it starts with making a pretty background using your gel, gel plate and alcohol inks and uh, I'm just putting some acrylic paint down a very thin layer of yellow um, as a base for this so I'm just trying to trying to make it even and then we're going to let that dry We'll add some, it won't take long. I think I'm taking more paint off actually than I'm putting down, but maybe I'll pop a little bit more on because there's thin and thin. Now that's going on a bit better. Okay, I'm going to leave that for a minute. I'll let that dry. Um, I'm not working in my journal this week. I'm going to do it on a piece of mixed media paper and then just stick it in. Um, that's the idea of manipulating that journal and shoving it on there and everything is probably not a great idea. Um, so yeah, so we're making a background and then it will turn it around. It'll be portrait, I think. Well, it doesn't have to be. Um, I'm going to use my Cricut to cut out a window silhouette and hopefully we'll draw a tree and that's what Kate did anyway, drew a tree in the background and put the window over the top. So that is the plan. So I'm just going to wait for this to dry and then I'll be back. Right, this is dry. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would. But uh, we got there in the end. Just getting a piece of paper ready in case I, I need it. Right, I'm going to use this alcohol ink. I don't know if it'll work terribly well. If it doesn't, I will resort to uh, the, uh, the more expensive ones. And I'm going to have to work quickly. That's fine. Oh, I think I've flooded it now with... Uh, And it does dry, this dries really quickly. Okay, so it's already dry on the black brayer. And um, now I'm going to come in with, ooh, my stencil. So I'm just gonna use it up there. And I might try, this is Scarlet, I might try bit of that, bit more of the yellow and I'm not, not trying to get a great image, I'm just trying to get a bit of texture on there, give it a bit of a roll. Cool, I'm going to turn that over and hopefully, I don't really want to get my fingers dirty, I might just push it down with that. That's, no, that didn't work. Well, we'll just put some more on with this then. I think um, you have to work quite quickly with these. Put that on, quick, quick. Maybe I shouldn't be putting the lids back on. I don't know, but I know how clumsy I am. Oh, that'll do. I'm quite happy with that. I don't think it'll any more down it may do no right let's move that to one side now I'm going to let that sit there for a sec while I organize myself right now I've got some bottle tops and cardboard tubes and I'm going to I don't know if not to be brave and do what Kate suggested or just do it my way I might have a go. She thinks, or she reckons, that you can put your thing down on there and just put a couple of drops on. So, and it will. If 
it went that far, so I'm going to put one there as well. Yeah, that worked. It's sort of staining quite a bit there. I'll do another one like that, and then I might just see what happens. Probably more than the fact that this comes out a bit quickly than anything else. That looks better. I think I prefer it not so leachy. So um, with the next ones, let's have a go at the other as well. I'm just going to pop a little on here. And let's try this bottle top. It's a milk lid. Well, I think, I think we're not getting enough there. That's probably why. Um, let's do another. I can't remember if I use Scarlet or Fuchsia now. Let's try this one and see. Get there. I'm going to try the fuchsia. I think I don't think there's a lot in the... Uh... I don't think that's done anything. Oh, it has. There we go. Right, now I want to be a bit brave and try some blue. So, let's try again. Let's try it one here. Did it? I think one drop is enough actually. It does go all the way around. Let's try. Not quite, but that's kind of, kind of like that look, so that's okay. Let's do a, a blob there and a blob there. Quite liking this. I don't know when to stop. So quite like that. Quite fascinating, really, isn't it? Playing with it. And we need to let this dry before we uh, try and lift the image. But it literally doesn't take take long. Um, do I do any more? Let's have some blue up here. And just carry it through. Right, I think I'll stop there. And just make sure all my lids are on before I... Oops, sorry. I have a mess. Now somewhere I have got some alcohol. Um, hand sanitizer. Just going to put a little drop down there. A little drop, she says. I'll just clean that off. Because when that's nice and dry, I will be using my paint again. I don't want to use that or to use the white. No, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to try and try it. If it fails, it fails. We don't ever learn anything if we don't try. Don't look at the glue lobby. D. Right, I'm not putting too much paint down because I really want just a smidge. And I'm doing it over here so that I don't get um, a large amount on my roller, my brayer. I'm actually getting some of the colour from the... is going to be enough it might not be and I might have to add a little more quick quick there's just a little and then a little we need paint on here to pull the image off but we do need to see be able to see the image underneath otherwise we'll have too much paint right here's my mixed media paper and I'm just going to place it on there and I think I'll just use the brayer to give it a bit of pressure. I 
and I really hope it comes off in one whole swoop. Mm. Not so much, but never mind. That might. Oh, it is. It is coming off. A little bit patchy here, but I, do you know what? I don't really mind that. I think I might stick with that. But I can't leave that. So I will have to. Uh, I might just squirt it direct on there now. Have a go at removing this as well. Bear with me, I'm just going to get a piece of card. I went to the wrong area because I've tied my room up. <laughs> I went to pick up the card and it wasn't there. anything up off of there. Oh, it has. That's quite nice. If anything, I think I like that one better. Oh, that's another one. There is still stuff on there. And I am going to try and remove it. Certainly down here. And there bit too much paint on there I think but let's see what we can take off there right we'll have to get another piece of card still leaving some but I think I'm gonna to have to leave it at that because I'm not getting much more I can use that for ATCs and things like that so let me clean my area and I'll be back right I am back these are the um, jelly prints I made this is the third pull which I really quite like this is the second pull which I think is my favorite and this is the first one, um, but I'm going to use this one because it's on mixed media paper and I'm going to add some ink and things to it. And so I don't want it to, um, I want it to be able to hold it. The other was just ordinary card. So my plan is to have a window like that, with a bit of a board around it. Maybe have this bird that I um, have not sure what's happened there, if that's supposed to cut off or not. Um, inside, like this, or somehow. And I'm going to put a tree on here as well. That's the plan. But, first of all, I'm going to put some more marks on this and make it a little bit more interesting. So I've got my woodies. I've got my gelatos. And I think I'm just going to, I could do a bit of uh, stamping as well, couldn't I? What I really need is some archival inks or something. I don't have any coloured inks really, except my distress inks, actually. Let's have a look there. Because this actually looks green and not blue, doesn't it? What have I got that can go on there? I think I might stick with blue. Let me grab some stamps. Right, I've got my old favourites, the same old ones that I use all the time. My script, 
and that sort of diamond thing i've got a different checkered one there actually and i've picked this for my new um woodware ones as well because i thought that looked quite nice in fact i might start with that somewhere i've got a stamping block there it is and i'm going to stick to the same sort of colors that we've got so i'm using barn door and i'll just use it i don't have to get perfect images here i'm just adding just the same sort of colors just to give it some more depth and texture All right, that will do for that. Oh. Well, I'll start with that one. For that I'm not going to go mad I might try this with salty ocean I, I never stick that on a stamp but well I do sometimes but I prefer just to um, just stick it on with uh, with my finger colours I've got I have got not in distress oxide but I do have some orange I do have some yellow as well but that's spice marmalade um, let's have a little play with that hardly see it I can see it but I bet it doesn't show up on camera a little bit there up there and down the bottom there quite happy with that right I think I'll leave the stamping behind if I can find the lid there we go let's put those out the way use those right let's grab what we can with these I'm just going to make some marks with the woodies Now I'm going to try with my uh, white uh, uni roll. I don't know if it'll if it'll uh, do much. If not, I will resort to a paint marker. But I'm, I'm managing to get some. Strong. 
doing a bit with that but Still a bit hit and miss this pen. I don't know if it's the pen, the surface it's writing on, or what. But I quite like it. I don't. I don't want it to be too white anyway. I quite like the look that it's giving. some flowers here but they're largely going to be guesswork is there one there i think there is and i might do something similar with the other prints i made and just use those as um ATCs or something like that. I think that might be one there. So anyway, I'll just keep doing this and then I might add some black lines. I don't know yet. But I'm going to paint the tree in ink. That's the plan. It might ruin it and then I'll have a little cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. Well, um, if it ruins it, it ruins it. Well, deal with that. When Kate did her, she used the end of a pencil, a pen, a paintbrush. Sorry, she didn't use the brush end. She used the tip of it. So, might give that a whirl. See if that works. Um, up here there's some doesn't want to work I'm not oh I am going over gelato that could be it I forgot there is some the blue the greeny color is never mind Right, I think that will do anyway. I don't think uh, that's why it's not going around to this very well because of its gelato. That will do. That will do. And now, do I add. That's not the pencil I need. It's way shorter than I. Th no, it's not that one either. I think it's that one, yeah. It's always shorter than I think it is because I use it more than anything else. So. doing I am just sort of making some marks I should do some up here as well I 
go ahead and add that for now. We can always add more. Now I've got some black ink here. It's what I use for writing. I could show you what it is actually. It is Higgins Eternal Black Ink apparently. But I just keep it in a sponge that I've cut a hole out to be the right size. That way I'm less likely to knock it over. Well, that's the plan. Right, let's have a look at this and think about how we want our tree. So if this is going on like that, I really want my tree, I want the, the trunk up here and like a tree shape like thus. I'm not too fussed whether or not it comes out the window at the top or anything. Let's just, what did I say? I wanted a trunk up here. Oh wow, that works. I want my trunk and then yeah, something like that. I may have gone a little fast for that. Right. Not very good at trees, so don't expect a miracle. I wish, part of me wishes that I'd just um, not bothered with the tree, but there you go. I'm going to carry on with it. I'm going to pop that on something like this. Somewhere I had a bird. Here it is. Come here. 
and I might just pop the bird. I would think that would have looked better if I'd done a silhouette of a um, tree instead of me trying to do one, but um, there you go. I think I'm going to keep that like that. I think I want him there. I don't think I want him anywhere else. I don't know where I'll see him. He could be going up, I suppose. <laughs> it looks like he's fallen out the tree. No, I think that's kind of what I want. I have to push him in a bit because I don't want his wings sticking out the window. Maybe he can come in a little bit more. Come on. In you go, mate. Something like that. So, let us stick him down. Something like that, I think. Let's just double check before I stick that on top of him. Something like that. I might round that off actually when I've done it. Yep. Well, I don't know if this has a right way and a wrong way, but I think, I don't know, I think I'm going to put it on like that. Right, so I'm just going to glue this on. Yes, didn't think I would stay on there. Don't glue the bird. Let's try that and how not to glue. Don't glue over your artwork. Don't do what I do. Watch me and do it better. Something like that anyway. I've got glue webs everywhere now. that off so that we've got the same sort of border going all the way around. I don't know. Not my finest uh, piece but I liked the background anyway. It's just what I did with it afterwards. Let's have a look and see. Would it look better Yeah, I might do that. Guys, you know, what was, this is going to mean some fussy cutting, isn't it? I'm trying to give myself a line to stick to. I don't, I doubt I'll stick to it, but... Right. Oh, uh, see? I can't even hold the scissors. Let's see what we can do with this. I think I prefer that. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ink around the edges because I'm not... I'm not usually satisfied till it's got a black edge. So just going around with a little bit of black soot, just grunge it up a bit. Well, I'm not terribly happy with it. I like the background, not really keen on the tree. I think I ruined it with the tree, but it's going in my art journal as a record of uh, this week's, or last week's I should say really, Wanderlust 
um, lesson. So hope you enjoyed watching me make a mess. And um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Oh my goodness, look at that glue on there. Like I said, don't do what I did. Do it better than me. There we go. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and I will be back again soon. Bye for now.